Peace. What's good? How y'all doing? Today is Saturday, October 6th, I believe. I just looked at my phone, then got sidetracked, but the 6th, I believe. I pray that this message reaches you all in the best of health, spirit, and mind. Welcome to another edition of Walk With Me, featuring your host, Zaza Ali. Today, I am in the beautiful, magnificent, um, wonderful reflection of God <laughs> in terms of nature, for sure. Uh, city of Malibu, California, and this is Malibu Beach. We have actually done a previous episode of Malibu Beach here, um, but it was a day that the sky was not really that pretty because there were white lines that were affecting my, um, you know, affecting the overall view of the sky. And so I, I vowed to you guys, the membership channel, that I was gonna come back and do another video. I actually was waiting for this haze, fog, um, cloudiness to clear up because it is scheduled to be fully sunny today, a, a full sunny day. And if you live in California or have been to California, you know that the early part of the day can start off um, a little gloomy-ish and then the sun will eventually shine all the way through. But I actually don't mind the grayness of the sky. Um, it was the those lines that were kind of throwing me off, but um, it's still beautiful. And I wanted to come to a different part of the beach the last time I was over by the pier and I walked through part of the the street area and then on to the beach. Um, I'm in a different area right now. And although the walking distance is not as far as normally I would look for, and I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see, um, I'll be starting down there on those walks, those rocks, excuse me, and then walking along that path all the way down to the end where there is another set of rocks and then I'll be turning back around. Um, normally I would look for a longer stretch of the beach because usually the videos are about an hour, hour and 15 minutes. But um, considering that there are other very beautiful aspects of this environment, including the mountainside and the backdrop, and you guys know I am always um, looking at and enamored by and fascinated by beautiful architecture. And so as you can see here in the hillside and mountainside there is no shortage of that and I mean miles and miles and miles not just in Malibu but all along the coast of California there is just so much abundance not only within uh, and reflected by mother nature but by the architecture as we go, as you're going to see as we get closer to um, the, the sand area down there I'm going to walk up a little bit further and try to navigate these rocks while I am talking if I need to, you know, <laughs> the camera becomes something that I need to stop focusing on and make sure I'm getting down those rocks, then I'll do that. So there may be a little uh, shakiness uh, and maybe even obstruction of the view once I get a little further down and start walking down those rocks. But I, I, I'm, I'm grateful. I've gotten some compliments on the steadiness of my hand and my camera work, which I've really been focusing on. And so thank you guys for noticing that because um, it is a... It takes a uh, an equilibrium um, and balance and being mindful of your surroundings. It's like a lot of stuff going on at one time. This is Pacific Coast Highway right here. Um, actually, let me pan all the way around. And so, can't walk that way because of the rocks. Well, actually, I probably could and, and end up after a, a serious journey somewhere on the other side where the beach ex is extended. But we're not going to do that. This is a path that I have... Uh, walk frequently and I also want to once I finish finish this video come back and um, just post up for a minute and actually sit in the sand which I don't always get a chance to do so let me pan out here and now let me just so bear with me guys <laughs> it's a lot this is Pacific Coast Highway so it's really busy and I want to um, make sure that I safely get down these rocks. I'm not worried about it, I do it all the time. I've just never done it while holding a phone and trying to talk. So, I hope you guys are doing good today. I hope you guys get a chance. I hope you get a chance to go out and get some sunshine, some fresh air, take a walk around the block, um, go to a park, do some yoga outside, do some breath work regiments outside. Like, 
it's time that we really step step our game up in terms of fortifying ourselves mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Okay, so let's do this. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, see that wasn't so bad. <laughs> so now my trick is gonna be <laughs> timing my walk on the side of this, walking past this house because this water, I've been watching it for some time now. I was sitting in my car trying to wait for the, um, for it to clear out, but this water is you know, receding and then sometimes it, it won't be too high, but then other times it'll be super high and I, I'm wearing tennis shoes and I'm not trying to <laughs> get soaked. <laughs> okay, just work with me, Mother Nature. Work with me, okay? <laughs> See underneath these houses. I'm always so fascinated by the way that the houses are built. Okay, so let me stop talking and <laughs> get to this other side. All right, cool. I'm always fascinated by the way that these houses are built. It's so dope, man. Human ingenuity. I'm going to maybe put up about a 15 20 minute clip of this video on YouTube to promote my membership channel um, because this is an ongoing series that I do continuously for my members let me just catch my breath here I'm walking in um, whew, walking in wet sand it's a different type of workout let me catch my breath and we can just take in the, the sound and the energy and the frequency of the water. All praise is due to the most high for sure. I'm going to put a clip of this video up on YouTube to promote my membership channel. I do these type of videos, walk with me all the time. And they're usually about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. I try not to go more than an hour and 15 minutes because I am walking. <laughs> and in situations like this, when I'm, you know, the walking can be kind of physically taxing, then yeah, I wanna. And so to promote the membership channel and then also just to get you, give you guys a sense of the vibes of this environment of the beach of Malamu, of the beauty of God and nature, and a constant reminder we have to consistently now find ways to tap in. Um, I just walked past a, it sound like a, it was a, it was a speaker or a microphone or something or both, but um, let me know that I was being recorded. Okay, cool. Okay, let me switch hands here so you can still hear the water in the background. Um, and now let's just take a little quick view of the houses. Um, what I was saying though is to post this on the on my YouTube channel too. I really love all the feedback that I got from that I've gotten from the Walk With Me videos. It lets me know that the intention that I set for doing this type of content is really resonating and being felt um, on the receiving end. So I'm grateful for that. So still want to put up some content, even if, you know, it's just publicly to keep the momentum going, to keep the frequency high, to keep the, the perspective. A lot of us are not really focused right now. Let me move to higher ground. <laughs> Okay, so let's just pan this view real quick. If you want to sign up for my membership channel and instead of paying a, a monthly membership fee, send me an email to info at zazali.com and I will send you a link for a significant discount and then you'll have access for a year. But um, we have to be consistent now in tapping in with nature, in dealing with our lower nature, 
because the lower nature is is on a on a major level right now running a show in the collective consciousness and nowhere is that more clear and more obvious oh look at this house under construction but it looks spooky down here at the bottom um that's so clear to me within with the, with the political dynamic in america i was in two different places yesterday man that, that beach that water sounds so good that frequency is so soothing it's a real it's a musical happening in the background um i was in two different places yesterday and overheard from people I didn't know, conversations, one, one conversation was three people, the other conversation was like five or six people, of people getting into real serious debates and dare I say arguments about politics. And I'm talking about real elevated, high intense people being really upset and bothered by the other person's perspective or lack of information or lack of knowledge, et cetera, et cetera, which I just find so interesting and ironic because right now, mind you, this was yesterday, there is a major, major situation happening on the East Coast of the United States. And the lack of situational awareness and, and please let me let me say this. I have a sense of urgency. I've, I've, I've always had it all my life. I understand why now, but having a sense of urgency from a, from a space of fear and having a sense of urgency from a space of abundance are two different things. Now we may, you may say, well, those two words don't correlate, right? Um, abundance and urgency. But urgency isn't necessarily a bad word. It's usually, it's usually used in terms of emergency situations, right? Urgency, emer emergency, we kind of put those two things hand in hand. But what if we had an urgency for passion? Or an urgency for creativity? Or an urgency to travel the world? Or an urgency to take care of our planet? Which I think in the collective consciousness especially with what's happening on the east coast man and, and you have no idea how frustrating it is for me somebody left a comment on on one of my youtube videos a few months ago maybe even a month ago at this point but accused me of speaking in a condescending tone and you know if you, the 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 comment was more detailed than just that but that was basically the underlying point or the underlying premise let's do a quick panorama real quick I said a quick panorama real quick <laughs> make sure you sure you guys you guys get to see it all from all the different angles I started down there I love the blend of the mountains and the beach it's just no nothing flyer to me well you know if there were some palm trees actually there are let me see let me turn around there are areas of malibu okay right down here where we're headed well we're not going down that far but you get the point um the condescending comment so i responded to this person and basically said you know the underlying premise of all of my messages right now are self-awareness, self-accountability, self-responsibility, consciously creating your reality. You are what you eat, you are what you think, you are how you breathe, you are how you live, you are how you feel. My little you know, mini definition that I came up with for what I, my uh, explanation of, or definition of frequency, frequency how you eat, how you, wait, how you think, how you feel, how you eat, how you breathe, and how you live is a culmination of things that are creating our, our frequency, which is creating our reality. Consciousness creating our reality, vibrational resonance creating our reality, 
frequency creating our reality, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So perhaps you or that person, and this video got so much overwhelming positive response just in terms of the impact of, of the message that I was saying that I didn't you know, I didn't put any merit on it, but it did kind of stick out in my head. And it made me think about Dr. Laila Africa. Let's get a close up on some of this um, architecture. It made me think about La Dr. Laila Africa and how he got to a certain point, did an interview, in I interviewed him and he got to a certain point where he just was super pessimistic about, you know, black people, melanated people getting serious and moving forward with doing what needs to be done for us to change our conditions around the world. And so, and I, that always stood out to me in my mind and I was always like, okay, so be mindful of this because I don't want to be pessimistic, not only for the sake of the work in terms of, you know, trying to help inspire, elevate people, consciousness, etc., but also because who has time to be living pessimistically? <laughs> I don't even know if pessimistically is a word, but it is today. The whole goal is to thrive and to live an invigorated life that's true to our authentic self. So the frustration of having been sounding an alarm in my own little way but consistent way in terms of what's happening in the skies, what's happening with the weather and all of the smart mouth shit that I've had to deal with over the years, just in pertaining to that research. And every now and then I even have to, let me, let me get back to my camera. I'm sorry, guys. I was looking at the water while I was filming. Okay. And let me bring this out just a little bit. Okay, cool. Um, and the irony is that this, this operation has been happen, happening right over our, our heads, right in front of our eyes for 20 to 30 years. So if we miss that, something as blatantly obvious as the buildup of this very strategic, scientific, I have to be careful about what I say, weather tactics of manipulation which have been ongoing for some time, which there is overwhelming, absolute, no question, proof and verification. If we've been overlooking things that are right in front of our eyes, how many subtle, the subtle things that we've been overlooking and not paying attention to on an individual level and then on a collective level too. And I think that the point about the authentic self And operating and making choices from that space, that, that, that concept has really been resonating with me as of late because I can see in humanity, I can see in my clients, I can see in children, I can see in so many people in the world how they're, how they're or we're, we are living based on projections, the things that our parents projected on us, the things that society projects on us, and then eventually we project it on ourselves and then attract people that project further scarring or fa further exasperating, <laughs> excuse me, exasperating the things that we don't want. So that's how it works. That's why it seems like the devil is so powerful now. Why Satan is just winning now because he or she or they or it feeds off of low vibrational energy, depression, anxiety, and fear-based consciousness. So when I'm talking about the sense of urgency, I'm not talking about fear-based consciousness, but the only way to navigate and overcome the fear-based consciousness to elevate into that abundant space of urgency or just consciousness, you gotta deal with the fear. There's no getting around it and I think that you know, you say, oh, stop talking about you give the man, you give him man too much credit. God controls the weather, etc., etc. Okay. 
I don't even argue that point anymore. Why is God allowing it to happen? All those people in the mountains of Tennessee and Georgia and North Carolina. And not only is our government on a national, state, and local level in those areas, and I can't you know, speak for every single local county or city authority or town authority, but there doesn't seem to be any strong movement towards making that situation right. You say it's whether it's man or whether it's mother nature. Okay, even if it's mother nature, we should already be in the process of undoing that damage of making that situation right for those innocent people. But the point that I'm making, much like the stuff that was going on in the sky, is that here we have another situation where even if you're not tapped in to where what's exactly what's going on because it is being hidden from mainstream media <clears throat> hidden or they're being selective with the way that they cover it 